So we're going to continue on with this uh, little bit of story of the dire wolves from the Game of Thrones. And we left off with talking about this little kid with his little shaggy black wolf. And of course, there's the other meaning of shaggy dog. A shaggy dog story. A long, rambling tale with lots of irrelevant details and often ending in anticlimax. That seems... Wow, ain't that funny we got a dog in our time named Scooby and a human named Shaggy? <laughs> that literally just popped in my head. To be the consensus view of what Rickon's story will pan out to be. He will probably be brought back into the action by Davos in the Winds of Winter and set up by the Mandalese for potentially becoming the Lord of Winterfell, but will die before that happens. He will have seemingly greater Greenseer powers than even Bran, but never really develop them. He will be thought of as dead while he's still alive, but die soon after he's brought back out of hiding. A long, anticlimactic tale. A shaggy dog story. So, Rob and his army blew across Westeros like a vengeful grey wind before dying out. Jon will seemingly come back from the dead like a ghost. Sansa will be the Lady of Winterfell. Arya will be a warrior princess. Bran will rule over summer. And Rickon's tale will be like a shaggy dog story. Yes, the direwolf name for Shadowing Theory still stacks up, even after the TV show and more than a decade since the last book. But... Well, I learned a little something on that. Uh, I don't know. It seems like my father has taken me down this... This path. Maybe I've always been on this rope. I don't know anymore. What I do know is all I have, is all I need. Seems like a lot of stories, you know, reflect a lot of our cartoons and a lot of those stories, like Game of Thrones, are based off of myths and legends. And sometimes actual events, because I'm sure there was a wolf clan, you know, Vikings and all that stuff, you know, they like wolves. Uh, the, the original Native Americans or whatever they were called, they, they like wolves too. Um, the Egyptians should have made a wolf god, Anubis. So, to me, it seems like the wolf, although not the most exalted, it's there in all cultures. And then, you know, I think to myself, what do we associate with wolves? The way we usually go right to the moon, you know, simple things like that. You know, simple things like that. Then, you know, you go to like, you know, maybe you might think of a forest or something. Um, I don't know, you know, just things. I've learned many, um, things, and we all choose things, or maybe they choose us, I don't know, I've heard that before, and
And then there's a time where you just are willing to find out. Because knowing is not always for everyone. And the journey to knowledge usually is for majority of everyone. What I mean by that is my father knows all. But he spoke things. He laid out the law. He said things would happen. If you break the law, Now, I don't know where this journey takes me. But I like it. Like I said, what else are you doing in life? We all get to choose. Whatever we choose. Right? Now me. I choose to believe. I don't know everything. I choose to believe. I know I exist. I know I breathe. I know I feel. I know I desire. But where does that lead us? those things do we not control those things strange this new level Well, you don't have to. That's a choice. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you begin to... Whatever it is you're supposed to do. Feel. Laugh. Love. Don't waste all your time just hating. Complaining for where has that gotten you? All love, all praise.